If I can keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. It's time for another field trip. This one is fun, yet somber. The Shumash had been here for tens of thousands of years. Then the Spanish came, and the missions. This year commemorates the 250th anniversary of the mission. They will have multiple events, including displays of early California life, in this episode, you will come along with us and see some of the history related to the mission. All kinds of activities from food to dancing to costume people to agriculture and more. Here's the list to review. The mission was sold for $510 once Mexico took over and the Spanish were ordered to leave. The mission was not planned in San Luis Obispo. But when abundance of grizzly bears were discovered, they decided to put a mission there. The grizzly bear provided food, and the natives lived in the surrounding area. The mission became the fifth of the missions, number five. The original mission was built closer to the creek and flooded. You can still see the original wall behind the Carnegie Museum. Women, children, and men were forced to work. Women were sold into arranged marriages and for prostitution for the soldiers. A lot of people don't realize how many of our relatives are buried there. It's a very sad place. It's a Shumash Cemetery, Walker said. The first mission was founded in 1769 in San Diego. The Presidio soldiers also were present. Father Sarah, who founded the missions, was a man with plenty of flaws of his own. According to historians, there was global competition to settle in California. It all started when the Russians were trying to take territory north. This is when the so-called sacred expedition began on the coast of California. From Mexico City, 21 missions, each with two priests, were founded. Like I said earlier, the soldiers were key to spreading the missions through the state of California in the name of God, but also really for territory, forcing the natives into religions, slavery, and other horrific things as mentioned before. The missions actually became the backbone to colonization through the state of California. How many of our relatives are buried there, said Violet Sage Walker from the Northern Chumash Tribal Council. Here's a picture of her trying to help preserve the history of the Shumash. The influence of the Shumash is undeniable at the mission, starting with the adobe bricks, creating the building 250 years ago. Fire, earthquakes, all kinds of disasters have come, but this mission remains the center of the city. The missions bring a complicated past. Not just what I've already mentioned, but also the horrific diseases that came and greatly affected the Native Americans. Historical records highlight a lot of the mistreatments that the soldiers and others perpetrated against the Native Americans. The missions were key for the Spanish to expand and keep their territory. We must learn from history so it does not repeat itself. For well over 20,000 years, the Shumash and other Native Americans lived in peace and lived off the land plentiful here on the Central Coast. This is a historical photograph 
of a Shumash native in that time period. Recently, at a Mastodon kill site in San Luis Obispo, Native American weapons and tools were found. It is believed the site could date back to over 20,000 years. Currently, pollen dating is being done because pollen dating can be done as far back carbon dating as 47,000 years. Just imagine the people living in peace 20 to 50,000 years ago until outsiders came and destroyed the peace and their way of life. Visualize 25,000 years ago, the last ice age. The coast was 6 to 13 miles to the west from the current location and 300 feet lower. Saber-toothed tigers, mammoths, mastodons, eagles, buffaloes, bears, whales, mega lions, sea lions, and many more animals that were incredibly large were all part of one family with the Native Americans. Giant redwood trees and oaks and lush floral and fauna covered the area. The temperatures were cooler and everyone was living in peace. Okay, we thought you guys were on tour. Sorry. <laughs> Gina. Sorry. <laughs> the other stuff. Is that fancy? It is. Oh, it's okay. Hey. How are you? I'm well. Is it safe to hug these days? I don't know. Who you knows? Good costume. to see you. I know, you look great. A horseback uh, messenger <laughs> in the mission area. Oh, and I hear your son's a uh, cattleman. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Gina. Hi, Gina. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. smiling under here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to have an on out here. Oh, no, actually, I'll. Uh, not her, really. You stopped it. No, it's still recording. Let's see what Mountain Man Camp is. Here's a Mountain Man Camp. That would be you. You can walk in here. We don't have to. Okay. Not much of a shelter, huh? Yeah, I didn't need much. Just to... Uh... Keep the, the mist from... <laughs> yeah, the sun from beating on you. and. Plus, they have to carry it on exactly. their Just get you out of the sun. Yeah, keep you out of the weather a little bit. We can also make a long log fire and kind of acts as a reflector. Yeah, we're going to need Trap the heat and keep you warm all night. What are, the, what are they cooking in a little pot? Some flatbread or? Yeah, it's uh, just basically unleavened bread. Just a little bit of flour and some salt and water. And you got a biscuit. Yeah. A biscuit, yeah. We saw that on something not too long ago. I can't think of what it was. Yeah, doesn't rise at all. It'll <laughs> yeah. last forever. Yeah, it won't uh, won't mold or anything on you. It'll you can mold. Yeah, you can oh. brush it off and eat it. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Heck they, yeah. Um, they used to give um, soldiers during the Civil War. I think they give them three of these crackers a day. And um, in the Indian Wars, they were uh, drawing rations, uh, crackers like this that were left over from the Civil War. Wow. Green with mold. They'd wipe it off and eat it. Yeah, it's only on the outside. Yeah, exactly. So they'd uh, fry it in grease. You could soak it in coffee, make it soft. We <laughs> call them old tooth breaker. <laughs> and um, they would um, soak them in coffee. Or you could put it in your pan and fry it in grease and sprinkle it with... Um, Some sugar. Or... Uh, brown sugar. Yeah. And call it angel cake. 
That's wow. wishful thinking, What right? is it, just flour and water? Flour yeah. And water and <laughs> a little bit of baking powder. It doesn't rise. And no what, bake like in the sun, just baked in the sun? No, oh, like, you know, you... That you, little pot? Oh. Well, you would take a piece of uh, wood and put it next to the campfire and just spread it on the wood. <laughs> and then flip it, you know, flip Get it a little around. fiber with it and just let the, the wood bake it, you know. And yeah, uh, if you got lucky, you could find berries maybe and spread them on top of it. That'd be like a real treat, probably. Where'd they get the flour? Oh, they had flour, they took the they they probably in the little bag right there, right? Yeah, bring your bags, whatever they could uh, carry, I guess. Sometimes they fry it in grease and wrap bacon around it. Oh, know, oh I bet yeah. they really like that one. They called it, uh, yeah, bacon's never bad. No. <laughs> Cincinnati chicken. <laughs> you had to have these creative names. I like and, uh, it. Make wow. it taste a little better. What are you guys having tonight? Cincinnati chicken. Yeah. yeah, it sounds very fancy instead of what it really is. Well, it's probably not more than what you get at a. Uh, yeah, yeah but, right? It, yeah. I mean, it lasts forever. Thank you so much for sharing. I wait till my wife goes shopping and then I race into the kitchen and make a batch real quick and put everything back before she even knows it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of saddles. Lots of saddles. It's, oh, she, uh, toys. Toys that were native. She mashed toys. Strength is the dog bone. <laughs> it's like a dog bone. Oh, okay. Oh, I've seen this. I never knew that's what that was. I see, you see that in like um, weave stuff that's woven into everything. Huh? Did you guys get a flyer with all of the different? Oh, I would love one. Help yourself. They got the uh, blacksmithing over oh, here. Yeah, there it is. The dancing. You've got your free food over here. Free food. Help yourself. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. And if there's any left, the homemade pozole is. Oh definitely, boy. Definitely what you Maybe want. Maybe we should. I'll follow you. Whatever. All righty. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Beautiful. Oh, and inside, by the way, there's a concert and a little lecture going on on Mission Music. Oh so wow. Inside. So nice. much. What a beautiful. I know, huh? Free food? Is it like native food? I doubt it. Pizzo oh, Spanish, huh? Pizzoli? Yeah. Free? <laughs> Finally found the blacksmith. This is the blacksmith. Okay. And then we're done with this section. And then, yeah, you want to go to the food, right? Yeah. Youth center. That's what I was over here talking to. I'm going to put this down a little lower. Grab that. Use your pinky. Use your pinky. Use your Wow. Yes. That's strong. Oh. Oh, they can do it more than once. That doesn't. It's starting to dry. Oh, cool down. Hurry up. Oh, she has to put the glove on first. Oh. Wow. I know I just didn't know if it compromised, like, bending Oh, yeah, it'll break off. Oh, he's just doing it for the fun. Yeah. As long as it's hot. What's that? Not as long as it's hot. No, but after, you know, when it cools down a couple bands. There's that point where you try to do it one more time. Now you have two pieces of metal. Yeah, we can bend two pieces. One for the other pinky. Oh, she's doing some copper work. Oh, is that what she's doing? 
see the jewelry? Oh yeah, I've done that before. Did you guys have to do that in middle school? Oh no. Mm -hmm. We did it. I saw a finished one over there on the table. I forgot what it was called, but it was in wood shop. We had to do that and then like stain the wood and gloss the wood and then attach that piece to it. I think we did. She's doing really pretty ones with flowers. Hey. What a beautiful dog. Wow, look at the food. Dang, we gotta go get some. I you have to be a super strong person to do this. You really don't. You get it hot enough, you can Hopefully we still get to the bell tower. Yeah. There's free food on my back. We're running. I love all this costume. I think. I don't know. Oh, we don't. We don't have a plate or anything. Are we at the wrong side? I think maybe the plates are in this one. Does it look like the station where you start with the plate or something? Okay, I don't know. Uh-oh, we're out of stuff over here. We just have tortillas left. It's nothing. Oh, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. I was able to find a napkin and a fork. <laughs> I, I see the plates way over there. Oh, so there's a guy with fruit and then the... Yeah, that's it. All right, well, let's see. I gave you guys chocolate. Oh, no, ma'am. We'll all discover it together. It's free food, it won't last long. <laughs> oh. oh gosh, they're gonna sing for us. I think now. we're down to fruit and tortillas. Water. 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 This stuff is actually quite good. Okay. Uh, how, how many? How many? One for the yeah, one for this. this is bigger, but you can cut it in here. Okay. I would like one. You can have one. Thank you, sir. My girlfriend would love to have one of yours as well. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was her. You just helped. <laughs> she has a disguise on right now. <laughs> the other side is past time. After they grind up the corn, then they make a mend Oh, those are probably the old, the first bells that they replaced, huh? Oh, I don't know. They said something about how they switched it out. Oh, my gosh. Hi. I'm Stacy. We've met before. We have a friend of And this is our friend Charlie. This is Grammy. Hi, Grammy. Is this sweet? Uh -huh. It smells sweet. I'm getting a tortilla. Yeah, I kind of want to make it. Mmm, yummy. This sweet. That is yummy. Okay. Hey. I'm going to go over there and get these in the back. Well, that's a child. Oh. You guys can go ahead. Oh, you're not mine? Well, we are. We're just going to be with our friends. We okay. didn't want them to all come in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 
We're delicious. Is it in the view? Uh, yes. <laughs> Orange was good too. It's like a cinnamon. Cinnamon bread. Like a light cinnamon bread. Without all the <laughs> cavity yeah. syrup on it. After you get the tortilla, there's something right after that you put in it. And that little... Some salsa, yes. Yeah, she's here somewhere. Yeah, what? Like her skirt. It's like my dress I lost, that yellow one. We didn't even know there was free food. Did not even know. That's why I missed out. We're going to dance. Oh, I love it. We don't need a fork either. <laughs> we'll get a fork. We had high expectations, didn't we? Yeah. Coming at the end, of the end and expecting. It's okay. Look at her making the tortillas. So perfectly. La que trajo Doña Viquera estaba buena. Se veía media rara. She said you can jump in and dance anytime, and I might. Hi, Simon. Mm. It's so good. Delicious. Gracias. Okay. Look at that. Mmm, it's all hot and sweet. Fresh off the grill. Oh my goodness. Delicious, huh? Delicious. May I have a piece of orange, please? Please. Would you like to help yourself? I would. I don't have a glove on my hand. Thank you, dear. <laughs> and you got a hot tortilla. Well, that's good. Yes, ma'am. We'll have tamales in about I'll be back in 44. We won't be here because we got to get back to the car. But is the bell tower any more accessible yet? We'll see a little dancing, then you we'll see. Wow, well, look at the magnolias. Those are the ones that my grandma had. Remember the purple one? My grandma had the red bud. Red bud. Can you show it? It's a red bud. Magnolia tree, though, right? Grandma said. Oh, I can Maybe. I don't think so, though. Yeah, that's what happens when you learn something huh. from your childhood. I'm going to get some water. Would you like? Well, you want like your own cup? Because they're small? Mm, yes. Put this on a tripod. Oh, they're teaching them. I want their shoes and their dresses, the purple one. I want their shoes and the purple girl's dress at the end. <laughs> Can we walk over there just in case we get lucky and it's mm -hmm. a run up and out? Let's go. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on a time limit, guys. We're trying to squeeze one more thing in, but this has been great. Uh, look at all the people. I want another orange. 
Excuse me. Welcome. Uh, they're, they're... A big limestone. Yeah. Well, this has been great. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I didn't see these pretty period dresses. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Probably had, it's probably easier to go out if you were this lucky. way, huh? Uh huh. Sure. Two dresses, yeah. Pretty colors. I love the old. Beautiful. Simple S. Yep. And what you do is that you'd be rounding up the cows because each they didn't have corrals or anything back then. So the curls would go out, round up the calves. If you have a head and a healer, you'd rope the head, rope the feet, back feet, stretch them out. This is nice and hot. You probably brand them on the back hind left hip and that way they would mar be marked for that mission wow and here over here i have all the different oh yeah so you can see the different man different amount of cattle they use the uh, hides as a uh, trade they do do the hides as trade so they would tan them stretch them out and they'd stack them up like pancakes and take them down to the ships down like at Port San Luis and at, um, Montana de Oro, and they send them up to San Francisco or down to San Diego and it, down there. And the S would still be in the hive yeah, forevermore? Yeah, stay just like that. It never leaves. Once you brand yeah. a cow. So it's, it's on the whatever they make yep. out of it. Yep. Wow. Did you get this really tall? The thing with local brandings, uh -huh. and it's like you have to get creative because you start running out of letters. You add a switch and an X and a this and a that. Fascinating. Thank yeah. you for sharing. That's the mountain man. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there was other booths over there and different things. We would like to build a We're going that way. We could maybe peek at that one on our way down. Okay. Did we get back to the lady that was nice enough to allow us to park there? I love the door. Wow, look at that piece of. Wow. I don't know what that was used for. Maybe a flagpole or. I don't know. But look at the top of this door over here. Wow. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. And look a at walk. the window, how deep and thick it is. And double that. Wow. There's a, a water fountain that's also an antique. Uh, <laughs> I love it. That door is just so awesome. So here's the doorway she was talking about. We can have a doorway like that in our cabin. Awesome. Totally. I should have known the bell tower would be the most popular thing. I could see people up there. I thought I, you were up there too. That's olive oil tasty. Oh, yeah, the olive oil tasty. Goats eat anything. And the trail. Yeah, we don't have time for that. But. Oh, there's olive oil. And we did buy the bottle of oil and we tasted it, so it worked. Oh, it's really good. It was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Olive oils and save us $40. Wow, I've always wondered what was in here. The courtyard. Well, I drive by it all the time and it's just, you don't see much. Oh, we're coming out by the school again? I got turned around. Our old mission school, that's not part of the mission prep. Mission prep's down here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to 